I go on YouTube. This is the Max Catch CLA reel. They're a classic reel. It is a clicker. This is the 5 to 7 size. And they also offer a, I believe it's a 7 to 9 size, which I do not currently have. And that is a disc drag style. So this is a clicker. Today I'm going to show you how to change the direction of retrieve on it. So first thing, obviously, you have to have it spooled the other direction. Um, I already have it spooled and set up for what hand I am, but I'm just going to go ahead and show you how to change it. So as you can see, it goes in nice and easy, pulls out, has a little more drag on it, and you can increase the tension on the drag by twisting that little knob and you can kind of hear the difference when it's going in. So I'm going to take off that tension. You have four slotted screws on the outside. We are going to carefully remove them. You want to use a screwdriver tip that fills the screw head pretty good, that slot, because you don't want to strip them. And we're just going to remove these four screws. Hopefully I can do it on camera without messing up too badly, but take these four out. Two. Three. And eventually I will get four. All right. Took a little while on that one. All right. Once you get those four screws out, you're just going to lift this cover off. Set this aside. Now, part of your clicker reel is actually this little setup right here. These two little uh, triangle pieces right here this is what makes your drag and your little clicks that you're hearing are from these so if you look closely at this I don't know if you can tell it's basically like a slice of pizza is how I like to look at it and this side's rounded right here kinda like the crust this side's perfectly straight and then this side has a little bite taken out of it and same on this side I want to change which way it's going to have a little more tension when it's when the line's being pulled out, like the drag, and then a little less when it's coming in, when you're reeling in. So to do that, all you have to do, you're going to change it right now. This has the flat side engaging this little spring, which is basically this wire. This is just one big spring under tension. So this one has the flat side engaging, and this one has the round side. All you need to do is rotate it. And we're rotating this around. We're going to make this one engage with the round side. And this one, we're going to engage the flat side. That simple. I just rotated them around. If you manage to pop it off somehow, you just push back. Simple as that. And you want one round, one flat. That simple. We're going to take this cover. We are going to, you got your four holes right here. We're just going to take this, drop it right on top of it, and we are going to, well, drop it right on top of it, facing the right way. How you want it, I want it up there. We're going to look in these holes here and make sure that this top plate, the four holes line up with the holes below it. And then the fiddly part, we need to get these screws in there where they go both in the top and bottom. Get one screw in. You want to tighten it down, but you just want to tighten until it touches and no more. You don't want to put any tension on it yet because you want them to, you know, be seated. If you start tightening, hammering one down all the way, it'll pull the other ones out of alignment. So we're just going to go each screw. We are going to tighten just until it makes contact with the top plate right there. 
We're going to crisscross them. That way they are nice and straight on when it's pulling that top plate down to meet the plate below it on the spool itself. Pretty much anything you're tightening in life, you're going to try to do a similar thing if they don't have a torque sequence. So now that I got the last one in, just go back to the first one, tighten that down, and we're just going to a nice snug, but you know, you don't got to, you don't want to strip these small screws going into a small, so, little screw hole. So it doesn't take much. You just tighten them until they're snug. And the last one, and I always go back and go to the first one I tightened just to make sure. So now I have tension and tension. You can adjust it right here, how much you're getting. And much more drag that way you can hear it less drag going that way all right if you have any questions comments concerns or just anything feel free to comment below and i'll do my best to answer all right have a great day